So what are the real issues at stake here? Our special report on India Decides, the contentious debate between strengthening and expanding the public distribution system and scrapping it altogether to replace it with direct cash transfers, the Brazil model. Shikha Trivedi reports. Accusations fly in central UP's Mirza Ganj village, where the Sarpan's son is blaming the Kotedar or ration dealer of cheating customers. कुछ पैसा ये लेती हैं सात रुपया आठ रुपया बना के फिर भी ले रहे हैं सौ पांच रुपया हुआ आठ रुपया हम खर्चा के ले रहे हैं खर्चा पर व्यक्ति पे खर्चा ले रहे हैं सात रुपया सात रुपया पर व्यक्ति पे फालतू ले रहे हैं In a neighbouring village, the Kotedar blames food corporation officials for black market tearing. Everywhere across the country, this is a familiar sight. As the government considers closing down 500,000 fair price shops to 160 million households and replace 15,000 crores worth of food grain PDS with cash transfers. The PDS model is dysfunctional in most places in the country and uh, the data shows that a lot of, of grain of the subsidy is lost because of, uh, of diversions to the black market. So cash transfers do not have the disadvantages of this kind of, of the PDS model. Cash transfers involve depositing money into individual bank accounts and many believe the infrastructure in rural India where most public distribution beneficiaries live is inadequate. This Grameen Bank in central UP has a staff of three. They handle over 20,000 accounts of 100 villages, including state and central schemes such as Narega, old age and widow pensions and student scholarships. And admit it will be tough to take on more right now. Advocates of cash transfers believe it will give people freedom to buy the food they want from the open market. In urban areas, bazaars are closer to home than in the mountains, inside forests or amongst the desert dunes. Even an imperfectly functioning PDS ensures some sense of food security. Shikha Trivedi presenting the issues there and joining me tonight is our newsmaker, Dr. Kaushik Basu, Chief Economic Advisor to the Finance Ministry and of course, Cornell Professor as well. Dr. Basu, thank you for joining me. You, of course, are one of the main proponents of the cash transfers system, citing the Brazil example which has worked so well. Food security activists are vehemently against this. They say, why write the obituary of the PDS, strengthen it, fix it? The worry that cash transfers may mean that the money is vested in the male head of the household and often spent. Yes. Two uh, responses to that. PDS, we have very good uh, studies by researchers showing that 44% of the grain meant for the poor leaks out onto the market, never gets there. Mm -hmm. So the government ends up spending double the amount to get food to these people. Whereas if you give a direct transfer, give it to the woman head of the household. I feel, first of all, the households will prefer that. They will then use this money to buy food, buy a few other things that they need. But give it to the woman head of the household. This has been experimented with in Britain doing that. And actually, it works very well because the women are more responsible in the way they spend it. Once again, my target is the same. I want the food to reach these households. But if you do it through the current method, the leakage and the pilferage will be huge as it has been. Now, on the PDS system, yes. there are remote areas where the private traders don't reach there. Mm -hmm. Of course, we want to use the PDS over there. Even in Delhi and big cities, my suggestion will be let the PDS stores be open, but give ordinary people the choice to go to the PDS stores or to other stores. Don't tie the hands of the poor people and tell them that, look, you have to go to that particular store, whether or not you get adulterated grain, that's the only one you get to, which is what we do currently. So there is scope for improvement over here. Yes. And this is, I'm, I'm glad that there is a movement, but the movement has to be sensible. We don't want this policy to backfire and actually increase the hardship of the people instead of improving their conditions. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.